France has become Europe's leading player in efforts to develop a homegrown rare earth ecosystem. It's building a production facility that's expected to supply 15% of global demand for heavy rare earths by late 2026. Rare earths are crucial to modern technology, and Europe is racing to cut its over-reliance on China, a strategic vulnerability long recognized by EU policymakers. Russ Collin files us this report for CNA from Lac in southern France. In a year's time, this construction site will look very different. It's currently mud and gravel, but the foundations are being built for a project aiming to shake up one of the world's fastest growing sectors, rare earths. French company CareMag is building a refining facility that combines recycling end-of-life equipment with imported mined concentrates. The $245 million project will be Europe's first large-scale plant dedicated to rare earth separation. CareMag is a subsidiary of rare earth specialist Carreste. Frederick Kerencott is Carreste's founder and chief executive. With CareMag, we will be able to produce 600 tonnes of heavy rare earth and then we will produce 15% of the worldwide demand of this very specific rare earth which are critical for the economic transition, ecologic transition. Europe has a growing need for rare earth magnets in the green energy and automotive sectors, but China supplies almost all of the world's rare earth magnets and accounts for more than 90% of the world refined rare materials. With no active rare earth mines in Europe, firms like CareMag are building a strategic advantage based on recycling while partnering with other countries in Asia. Today we already have 70% of our product which is booked and we work mainly with Japan and also we have signed a long-term contract with Stellantis. Our goal is really to sign long-term contracts with people who have a long-term view about security of supply. Sites like this, with an emphasis on recycling previously used rare earths, will go some way to addressing Europe's current dependence on mineral imports. This plant should be up and running by the end of 2026, helping France break free from its dependence on China in the rare earth sector. France is attractive to investors due to its abundant low-carbon nuclear power, government support for industry and backing for projects aligned with the EU's Critical Raw Materials Act. Here in LAC, CareMag is not the only rare earth specialist setting up shop. The British company Less Common Metals is investing $129 million in a plant to produce rare earth metals and alloys. In a statement to CNA, the firm's chairman, Grant Smith, says having a presence in France aligns with the company's long-term goals. He adds that France offers a stable and industrially advanced environment with a strong commitment to strengthening European supply chain sovereignty. The presence of rare earths in their core. Elsewhere in France, Belgian firm Solvay has inaugurated its rare earths production line for permanent magnets. European companies hope to produce a thousand tons of rare earth magnets a year by 2027. Still a long way from challenging the 16,000 tons that Europe needs from China each year. It only shows how important these projects are to construct a future in which France and the wider European Union are secure in their supply of essential raw materials. Ross Cullen, CNA, in Lac, southern France.